फास्टेस्ट क्रिकेट स्कोर अपडेट्स या सबसे डिटेल स्टैट्स क्रिकेट के अंदर बाहर की खबरें या हेल्दी डिबेट्स सबसे एक्यूरेट एनालिसिस या फैंस का क्रेज सबके लिए एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म क्योंकि क्रिकेट मतलब क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट Hello everyone you're watching Cricket Next I am Surama Kaushik and the trend of home teams winning in this IPL continues this time around Rajasthan Royals win the match over Delhi Capitals by 12 runs now this match seemed a uh, one-sided at few times then it felt that Delhi Capitals might in closer to the victory line at the time when Warner and Rishabh Pant were batting but we'll have to talk about Pant's batting and uh, especially Delhi Capitals batting as a whole and And obviously, one person who batted really well today was Ryan Parag. We'll talk about all of them in detail, and for that, I have with me Keshav Nivasra, Network 18 Group Sports Editor, and Atul Srisri. Hello, Shreeni and Atul. Good to see you both. Shreeni, the trend continues at this time around. Rajasthan have won it. How do you see the whole match, especially uh, Ryan Parag's performance? You know, a lot was said about Ryan that you know doesn't perform, and uh, why you know they keep him in the eleven. But today, eighty plus knock. How do you see that? Poor guy. I mean, gets trolled horribly year after year, and uh, you know people seem to have a problem with his. I I don't know. I mean, I can understand people having a problem with somebody's cricket. You know, they don't like to watch someone bat, or they don't want like to watch someone bowl. I don't know. I mean, you know, but you have a problem because the guy has a certain attitude. I mean, I I really don't understand how can that be a problem. Um, you know, I I've seen horrible people saying horrible things about that boy, Ryan Parag, Parag, Pan Parag, kind of a thing. You know, um, yeah. and 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 then when guys like these, you know, kind of defy. all these odds and you know defy criticism and then come back to put the runs on the board and when these mouths go silent i i love watching it i just love that underdog moment you know and i'm happy for this boy i mean uh, you know why shouldn't he have an attitude uh, why shouldn't uh, he you know kind of uh, have his uh, uh, moment under the uh, lights you know uh, this is a stage where um, every guy doesn't matter where you're coming from is allowed to be a hero overnight and tonight yeah. hero as we know it is riyan parag and uh, and i'm happy for him and uh, that said uh, you know rajasthan royals i'll come to that later but delhi capitals i have a view on it already you know um, okay. the bowling lacks lacks depth the batting yes. seriously lacks firepower you remove the openers i really i mean you know rishabh pant is a very good feeling okay and i'm happy for rishabh you know he scored 28 that could have been 38 48 18 8 doesn't matter um, you know mm-hmm. i'm happy to see rishab on the field and um, uh, you know uh, th- th- he will not be judged but uh, overall when i look at delhi it does not give me any bit of confidence i can the only thing i carefully noticed is that ricky ponting's side burns have probably gone whiter than ever uh, you know and i can now understand why so yeah mm-hmm. Well, uh, what Trini said, Taus, I think that was the same thing that I also uh, mentioned before the start of the match, and you and I were just discussing the same while we were watching Delhi Capitals eleven. And I said you can't really rely on Warner and Mitch every time in every match, and how far these two batters will take you. Today also, Warner made forty nine runs, and you know at a point it felt that DC can do it when uh, Warner and Pant were batting, but it was so so slow. Rishabh Pant made twenty eight of twenty six, and that's something that. you really don't want to see in t20 cricket especially uh, in ipl when you know that you are chasing 180 plus score you really need to be quick you really need to score runs and also when you know that you really don't have that great of a batting depth also because stubs not that of a very convincing convincing batter we have already seen him before but especially now in this ipl that we are uh, seeing and you know the earlier match that we also saw that was against punjab kings they don't have anyone to rely to so with rishabh pant batting at uh, such a strike rate that's very uh, concerning right isn't it yeah it's it's concerning considering coming from a number 4 and captain 
it's a beautiful story definitely rishabh pant coming back it's a beautiful story and an, and an inspirational one but then when it comes to the ground when it comes to the field or actual match you need to have you know you need to have that firepower you need to have you know you need to come out and perform and deliver when it is needed story ek narrative yeah. ek hath mein jata hai uske baad aapka performances jo count hota hai rishabh pant always had this question mark over her though over wide ball cricket or 20 or t20 cricket whether he will be he is able to convert his red ball performances of form the kind of cricket that he plays in that format red ball format whether he'll be able to deliver here i mean uh, the, he he has done it before but very rare i mean you, you won't see him do, as dominating what as he does in uh, red ball cricket there is there are question mark because uh, yahan par uh, t20 uh, t20 cricket mein bahut restrictions rehte hain bahut uh, ye uh, power plays and then you have a lot of field settings so there is not much freedom what you have in a test cricket so rishabh pant will have to pull up his socks yaar kyunki a lot of is a lot is at stake when it comes to rishabh pant from the brand value to the performer yeah. to the t20 world cup which is coming up uh, he's taking claim also i mean obviously people have started talking about him being one of the contenders so he has a lot of pressure of being that player to watch out for in the t20 world cup or whether he could make it and then the captain of delhi capital which has not been performing over the years which has not been delivering res- results over the years so 26 and in 20, 26 balls 28 is quite criminal kyunki aapne aise bahut sare log criticize bhi hue hain jo run a ball khelte hain and uh, i mean of uh, last 2 3 years rohit sharma has also been criticized for his batting that's why Well, that is one of the reasons why he was you know, apart from the not delivering as captain he was uh, like sideline now his he's got yeah. the freedom to bat however he likes to rishabh pant mm. question mark aa jayega i hope he returns to form or he starts making it count starts scoring at good pace yeah because you need of mm. rishabh pant who is fiery who can change the match like how he does in uh, red ball cricket at the end like but agar hum delhi overall delhi ki baat kare you have a david warner uske baad we had a chat uh, in the pre match yeah. uh, uh, video uh, show ki yeah. they definitely lack a lot of fire power in there start with david warner david warner at the end he's like he's at the fag end of his career how much you can mm-hmm. expect from him he would deliver like how he would do like a couple of more than a couple of years back for srh yahan par mm-hmm. it's quite harsh mitchel marsh will have to pull up his socks if then uh, i mean i'm not expecting our uh, this guy stubbs did a decent job at least yeah. 44 from 23 balls is still a de- decent job so yeah. you need a lot of you need a lot of fire power a lot of muscle aur t ipl yeah. mein jab aap khelte hain to ipl mein kyunki see you have the best of the teams playing look at rajasthan royals uh, lineup aapka bowling bhi superb hai jahan par trend bolt hai yuzvendra chahal who got uh, rishabh pant you have an ashwin ashwin also i mean he came out with those uh, sixes with those blows despite being you know very very okay uh, batsman when it comes to t20 cricket but then you need to be yeah. charged extra charge. you need to put that extra potential yeah. uh, extraordinary work so yahan par yeah. delhi will have to do a lot of work seriously man नो एब्सोल्यूटली यू आर राइट था उस क्योंकि अगर आप दिल्ली का अभी लाइनअप देखें इलेवन देखें वहाँ पे बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स आपको नजर में आएंगे ऑब्वियसली आज दो नए बॉलर्स थे देर वॉज नॉक एंड मुकेश कुमार एज वेल मुकेश टू का गुड विकेट एट द वेरी स्टार्ट बट दिल हैव टू रियली थिंक ऑफ देयर बैटिंग बिकॉज दैट्स वेयर द होल प्रॉब्लम लाइज और आपको कब तक फोर एल मैचेस जितवाएंगे या आपको पास तक लेकर जाएंगे चेज के या एक डिसेंट टोटल के सो यू डेफिनेटली हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट नो श्रेणी as we are talking about delhi capitals before the match sort of ganguly said that i haven't seen enough of uh, prithvi shaw because uh, you know he was injured then he was at nca then he was also playing ranji trophy so i didn't see enough of him and that's why you know uh, we are not uh, bringing him in playing 11 and i saw a lot of uh, um, abhishek porel and ricky bui that's why they are there in the 11 now how do you see this statement because ricky bui didn't score even a single run in today's match and uh, that's happening delhi capitals struggling with a lot of uh, batting issues so do you think in the coming match we can see prithvi shaw in the setup uh, well saurav has said that uh, he's not seen enough of uh, uh, prithvi you know but that's the sad part i mean people have seen enough of with prithvi and that's the reason they understand why he's struggling you know it's just that the unfortunate bit is that they've seen enough of him off the field and not on the field uh you know uh, so i don't know i mean i honestly look at him i mean like you know um see 
is prithvi talented i mean if we we go down to answering those kind of questions there's no point there's no point discussing prithvi i mean this guy is a child prodigy like you know what he did in bombay how he started his career in the maidan what he is as a batter look at him what kind of a stroke player he is is there any doubt on that no is there no any doubt like today after all these years if somebody comes to me and says talk about vinod kambli i'll say probably more talented than sachin tendulkar at one point in his career yeah uh, you know so I, I let's not talk about talent and how good he is uska 11 mein jagah banta hai kya 15 mein jagah banta hai kya hmm. of course of course he is good enough the reason he is out of this team is not because he is a bad cricketer yeah obviously there are other things uh, you know that have uh, put him out of the system now now mr ganguly has to doesn't need to see enough of prithvi he needs to understand if prithvi is a different cricketer is a different person and if not then we need to probably also introspect what is delhi capitals doing in order to get prithvi back to you know kind of being the cricketer that he was supposed to be Uh, yeah. i think you know uh, much of uh, much of this also lies you know in terms of uh, how a franchise takes care of its talent you know uh, ye nahi ki player comes um, for three months in the whole year so that is the only time we'll bother ourselves with the player and for the rest of the year it doesn't matter no i think uh, on that front the franchise needs to take care of its player uh, you know all 12 months of the year so hmm. I don't think uh, Saurav can get away with that statement that you know I have not seen enough of uh, Ricky. I uh, sorry, Prithvi. Um, just doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make exactly. sense. Exactly. Huh. Yeah. Maybe maybe then there is a you know kind of a better answer, but maybe he is not at this point. Doesn't want to uh, spell it out. Whatever it is. But having yeah. said that, doesn't matter what may be the reasons for Prithvi staying out. the point is dc is in trouble and not just any kind of trouble dc is in big big trouble um mm. if i was in op- in the opposition opposition camp right now looking forward to a game with dc and um, you know they whether they are batting first whether they are batting second i know i just need two wickets david yeah. warner and mitchel marsh that's it mitch marsh that's yeah. it those two wickets is all i need and i know i have dc in a trap at best yeah. on a given day they just might get lucky and somebody in the middle order may probably go hammer and tongs and you know the bowling attack may struggle you know but that will be a one off that will be yeah. a one off overall yeah. dc with this lineup is going to struggle david warner you know the kind the stage that he is in his career the priorities that he has you know i had put out some tweets on one uh, you know kind of uh, uh, you know uh, in terms of what kind of priorities uh, is a cricketer carrying you know i did not i, mm-hmm. I traveled to um, the ilt 20 tournament uh, in the ua where uh, he was playing or he was rather supposed to play a good final and yeah. uh, unfortunately things did not go his team's way and from there on things have been asked of him questions have been asked of you know what kind of um, commitment has he brought to the table and uh, mm. so, so these are serious questions but having said that potentially in dc if i am going to look at two batters right now it is david and and uh, mitch and uh, beyond mm. that the squad is going to struggle i mean the, I just have to take a look at the 11 and you know you know that things are aren't going to be right i mean you look at the um, avesh khan's last over right now to yeah. aksar he just didn't allow him to play one ball i mean that's it you yeah. know perfect uh, yeah as this guy is saying really good to see avesh nailing yorkers at death and there was not really yorkers they were like just full length deliveries you know one yeah. i think uh, came closer to the wicket but otherwise they were just merely full length deliveries and uh, yeah, you yeah. could see that uh, if the ball was not pitching a little beyond good length um aksar is really at pain to just you know kind of middle the ball middle the ball nahi chodo even even you know kind of contact the ball so yeah. you, it shows it shows that you know that was decent death bowling on on part of uh, thing and um, well acha by the way see let me it's a paradox but let me i answer this you know let me let me bring this topic up you know i'm i'm taus uh, mentioned it and 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 it's bound to happen that today's game hmm. 
as it gets scrutinized, uh, you know, uh, um, Rishabh Pant is uh, performance is going to be discussed. You know? The number of right. runs that he scored vis-a-vis -vis the number of balls. Now, now, let's be very honest. After what Rishabh has gone through for the whole year, hmm. I, purely as a cricket watcher, I'm not expecting Rishabh to come and do miracles. A miracle in itself was Rishabh yeah. actually being ready for this tournament, True. physically yeah. fit to play this tournament. That for me is the miracle. I'm not expecting a bigger miracle uh, in terms of Rishabh taking taking this tournament by the you know storm by a storm and you know. Uh, doing something spectacular on the field in sport, these things don't happen. You know, they see hundreds IPL game for DC, and you know, you can feel good, it's a very feel good thing. But beyond that, the franchise has to take a very practical and serious call. What are they playing for? Are they playing for memories? Are they playing for uh, you know, a fairy tale season where you know. Everything is so spectacular. Rishya Bajewar, love is in the air. Dilwale Dulaniya le jayenge. You know, uh, what are you playing for? Or are you playing to go out there and win? That's it. See, simple. Uh, so, uh, you know, that I don't know uh, if the franchise's priorities are in order. Because if yeah. uh, the priorities were in order, I would say, Rishya, my friend, you know what? Uh, chill. If, if, they, if you're not able to give me a 20 ball 40 or a 25 ball 50 you know i need you to i i have all the respect for you i have all the love for you and i i you know but but and i also need to win matches uh you True. know so so uh, you know emotions and we indians in general are emotional people you know hmm. that's how Actually, we are um Shane, does so, that question dc's decision to give captaincy to panta as well no, that's what I'm saying. Then I am not sitting in the DC camp. So mm -hmm. I'm not really sure right now from the outside what exactly is DC thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what exactly is DC's priority here? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, like, am I here because, oh, I need to like kind of offer all the goody goody sentiments, you know, kind of, um, um, you know, uh, like make things look beautiful. Uh, because there is a fairy tale comeback. Am I just riding on Rishabh Pant to garner whatever publicity I want in this tournament? Or am I, do I really have a plan to play this tournament and win it? You know, uh, you, you show me the highlights where Shikhar comes and Rishabh hunts, hugs Shikhar and uh, Ricky hugs uh, Rishabh and uh, Rishabh hugs someone else and the other guy hugs someone else. It's all fine. You, you have a Hugging section, which is all fine, but the point, point is, do you all have a plan to uh, for this season? And if if your plan is having Rishabh Pant in the middle order and thinking that you're going to chase uh, totals, I'm sorry, you're not going to do that. This is um, you know uh, top level cricket that is going on here, and and um, yeah. you know, aap, aap koi chota -mota league aap nahi khel rahe. you're playing the finest yeah. league in the world. So those answers. As I said, you know, franchise has to answer. Franchise doesn't have a clue here. They want to make all goody goody statements about Rishabh. And then when it comes to Prithvi, you know, the mentor says, I haven't seen him for a while. I wonder what you'll have been doing then. Hmm. Then I have a That's solution good. for this. I have a solution for okay. this. I, I, I have been like wondering, Srini, why? Of late, I mean, this is not new. Like, this is even before uh, Rishabh Pan's uh, unfortunate accident. I want to see, and it has been experimented, but for a quite a few matches. That is Rishabh Pant, if he goes out there, opens the inning with maybe a David Warner, get takes on the attack with the new ball because you have a power play. He can swing his bat all around and their chances are much more higher that he can go get more runs and a fiery knock uh, with minimum balls and maximum runs. That is where he can you know, shine, where he can take the match away. Middle order when spinners come on, I think it's very very difficult for him to get those runs, you know, get those singles, mm -hmm. doubles, and then you know rotate strike. Since with the new ball, uh, with power play in, with the you know so, so with minimum two players outside the circle, that is one time, that is one uh, uh, stage of of the match where Rishabh Pant can try and get on the take on the attack. That is where hmm. he can click, which is what I want to see at least. Like, see, and he deserves those good matches. 
पांच छह मैचेस में एक गैम्बल करो स्टार्ट करो विथ डेविड वार्नर ब्रिंग मिचुल स्टार मिचुल मार्च इन द मिडल ऑर्डर दैट इज वेल क्योंकि मिचुल मार्च इज समी हू कैन रोटेट द स्ट्राइक ही कैन टेक ऑन दटैक ही एक्सपीरियंस ऋषभ पंत वहां पर मिडल ऑर्डर में काफी टाइम से स्ट्रगल करते चला आ रहा है मतलब एटलीस्ट व्हाइट बॉल क्रिकेट में बात कर आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट रेड बॉल दैट इज वेयर दे कैन जस्ट गो आउट एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट क्यों नहीं यार अभी तो वैसे भी उनका फॉर्म ऑफ साइड फॉर्मिडेबल नहीं है देर इज नो बैलेंस दे कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट एट दिस स्टेज इनिशियल स्टेज उसके बाद आई मीन यू डोंट इफ यू क्वालिफाई यू डोंट हैव टाइम टू एक्सपेरिमेंट सो दिस इज वेयर दे शुड गो आउट देयर बिकॉज़ पृथ्वी शॉ भी है बट देन ऋषभ पंत का एक सलूशन निकालना है दैट इज व्हाट आई बिलीव Harsh, <coughs> uh, what you're asking, I think uh, Taus ne usi par abhi uh, discuss kiya aur unhone baat kari T20 format ke baare mein ki kaise kuch kuch changes ho sakte hain. Obviously, that was uh, a lot related to DC and what DC can do. But I think you uh, got your answer. And if you want a more elaborated answer, perhaps we'll take Krishna Pant's topic in some other life. Now, uh, Shreyansh is talking about Marsh. Actually, you know, uh, Taus the mm, issue with the you know dc is that i i find them you know they don't correct their mistakes in terms of last year agar aap pichle saal dekho to bhi marsh khel rahe the warner khel rahe the aur aapko jitne bhi matches jita hai aapne second last number pe finish kiya tha aapko aksar patel ne wo matches jitaye the aur humne ye match shuru hone se pehle bhi kaha ki aksar patel ne agar aapko match jitaya which means ki aapka top order fail hua hai aapke top order ne nahi acha khela hai isme bhi aaj bhi aap ने देखा कि आपके स्टार्टिंग में वॉर्नर अच्छा खेले खेल रहे थे वो पर आपके साथ वाला द अदर बैटर पंत ने जब खेलना शुरू किया वाज वेरी स्लो और उसके बाद अगेन यू कॉन्ट बैंक ऑन समन लाइक फॉर एल एवरी टाइम एंड देन अक्सर आल्सो अक्सर ने ही मेड 14 ऑड रन व्हिच इज समथिंग दैट ही विल डू वो जिस नंबर पे आते हैं अगर आप उन पर इतना ज्यादा बोझ डाल देंगे इवन ही कॉन्ट बेल यू आउट सो आई थिंक दैट्स वन प्रॉब्लम दैट डी सी इज सफरिंग विद दे हैव सफर्ड विद दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड दे रियली नीड टू थिंक अबाउट इट वेल लेट्स गो टू राजस्थान रॉयल साइड नो वॉट्स इंटरेस्टिंग टाउस सिर्फ दो बॉलर्स ने चार ओवर डाले हैं आज राजस्थान के वन संदीप दी अदर वन आवेश खान आवेश खान गव द फाइनल ओवर इवन वेन यू नो अश्विन चहल एंड एवरी वन एल्स इन ट्रेंट बोल्ड दे हैड वन वन ओवर लेफ्ट हाउ डू यू सी दैट डिसीजन फ्रॉम संजू सैमसन दाउस गुड या गुड दैट इज प्रमोटिंग इंडियन टैलेंट ट्रेंट बोल्ड एंड Uh, yeah. who was really really good yaar burger was very very good uh, with those uh, with his uh, bowling three was 29 and two wickets and crucial wickets uh, too good to see that he's he that means he shows uh, that shows uh, avish khan was uh, economical four for 20 four uh, overs 29 runs which is still good and one wicket yeah this yeah. Uh, this guy was a bit expensive but then still uh, economical when it comes to t20 standards sandeep sharma and both yeah. uh, avish khan beautiful bowling in that death over choking them up that was good to see but uh, sandeep sharma has been an experienced lad yaar he's been playing for this is not yeah. his first or second year he's been playing for a long time he's 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 played for india and he's been a specialist for in t20 cricket the way he swings the way he bowls with the new ball i mean i i was expecting that ye uh, iska career bahut bada hoga magar uh, maybe he's not worked a lot on his bowling shayad wo restrictions apne ek limitations mein reh gaye but then still coming till here is <clears throat> very good he may not have got a uh, wicket in this uh, match but they are uh, these guys have done well especially i mean the credit should go to these you have a it's a very very good uh, bowling lineup trent bowl burger burger ashwin avesh khan chahal sandeep sharma i mean it's a good combination of batting and bowling yeah. so rajasthan yeah. royals are one of those underdogs and i'm happy with the riyan para coming in i, I mean shaini bhai spoke about it in the uh, in the at, at, in the initial at the start of this uh, yeah so uh, riyan parag I, i would say ki matlab yaar he was criticized uh, in the last two season and obviously why not yaar itna chance mila ladke ko so he not been able to convert those opportunities the expectations that bahut uh, sare people talk a lot about off record there are story there are many story floating around how and why is the he is there in the squad but the thing is that this guy the underdog uh, he did well in the domestic season he is hungry he wants to do well he wants to prove every mm-hmm. other person wrong people mm-hmm. who criticize him which is so good things that he is taking it positively he is taking the criticism positively shows on the field that this guy is 
wants to do something you know take his game to the next level which is a beautiful part of any cricketer agar wo hunger nahi hai agar wo criticism ya apne aap ko improve karne ka wo nahi hai jazba ya emotion nahi hai to fir aap cricketer wahi ek limitation mein reh jaoge aap jo aapko jo opportunities mile hai luck se mile ho ya performances mile ho to aap agar wo usko convert nahi kar paaye improvise nahi kar paaye apne game ko so i mean it's a waste of talent again this guy is superb he's worked on his batting he is he's uh, yeah. I mean, he's done. Uh, to, today, you might have seen him. He's scored runs, but he's done in the domestic season as well. He's got yeah. those half centuries, seven and a half centuries in uh, smart and uh, Mushtaq Ali. That's also what that's what he also mentioned. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. He, yeah, he got the player of yeah, the match award, and after that, yeah. Yeah, 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 and he did say that you know my performance in uh, domestic cricket really helped me, and obviously, uh, the perception uh, about me is something different, but. Uh, I know what I think about myself, and someone has to play for 20 overs. And I felt that today was my duty to play for all 20 overs. But Ashwin, I want to know from you: Were you surprised seeing our Ashwin at number five? And I think Ashwin changed the momentum of the game also because it was going slow, and he also took some pressure off Ryan Parag and uh, smashed those three sixes in that 29 run knock. Were you surprised seeing him above uh, Porel? Uh, sorry, Dhruv Jurel and uh, uh, Shimran Hetmyer. See, expect a guy like Ashwin to surprise. Okay, uh, <laughs> primarily because he's a thinking cricketer. Now, whether that surprise works positively for the team or actually brings more uh, liability, that only time will tell. You know, but but mm-hmm. Ashwin, as far as Ashwin himself is concerned, you know, the guy tends to like you know uh, give a lot of thought to what he brings to the table. Uh, you know, and um, and I you know. I, I, by the way, he's extremely, extremely cautious about you know. I, I don't know him personally so well, but uh, you know, so, but what he comes across as, he comes across as, across as a guy who is very extremely particular about how he's going to be remembered as a cricketer, you know, in terms of you know uh, how he's going to be perceived and a thinking man's uh, you know uh, a cricketer, and, and that's how he likes yeah. to be perceived. And in that, I think you know. the the experiments that he keeps doing whether it's with the bat or with the ball it it allows a, a a fan to pursue ashwin as this guy who's got like you know a good uh, set of uh, brains on his shoulders so those are kind of things so i'm sure in the dressing room he must have suggested something to joss and uh, the rest of the management and they were like why not and if you carefully notice where exactly is rajasthan's middle order right now what is the middle order like you know do we have an entire 15 or 18 or uh, you know i i'd like to be put uh, if if somebody could break that on the screen you know and um, i'd like to know what is the firepower that is available with rajasthan royals uh, if hmm. they had to uh, kind of you know um, uh, kind of strengthen their middle order uh they have like mm-hmm. steadfastly given away their uh, middle order muscle uh, you know i remember after yeah. tevatia left last year again you know they were there was a bit of struggle so i really not um, kind of uh, wrap my head around so if ashwin can come and fill in that spot maybe that's what he's doing and i think um, today was a glimpse of what he might do again mm. they have a great power in shimran hetmyer but uh, you know to see ashwin ahead of hetmyer that really surprised me i yeah. just, I just add one more bit hmm. <coughs> so i'm very clear i been you know good on ryan parak today to come and do what he did uh, and if you remove that 84 from from hmm. the from what ryan parak brought to the table then you think about guys like yashasvi joss sanju even dhruv jurel yeah. all put together have managed like you know what 100 runs and and yes. um, the west indian what's his name i forget shimran hetmyer hetmyer all put together have put 100 runs on the board on board you know that's yeah. a worrying sign for rr so True. today you enjoy uh, riyan's uh, innings because that's what saved you the game uh, but yeah. uh, it's very clear that you know what of these guys has to play big uh, if rr has to kind of uh, keep yeah. this thing so yeah i mean tell me i can't think of one name in the the in the, the yashasvi butler samson parag hetmyer jurel ashwin sandeep 
Avesh, Trent, Yazuvendra Chahal, Baga, Powell, Tanush Kotya, you know, only those many overseas players, Prasad Krishna, who's there? There's nobody. I can't think of anybody who can bolster the middle order. So, obviously, there is a gap that needs to be filled. Yeah, yeah. And I think Edwin has just uh, raised his finger. Yeah, Taos wants to say something. Yeah, uh, see, I think uh, they sent Ashwin up because it was 7.2 overs and these guys want, uh, might have wanted, you know, some stability in those middle overs. Seven point, because uh, George Butler, when, once he got out in that eighth over, so Ashwin was the guy who could have given that stability and surprisingly, mm -hmm. he took all the attack, got those sixes because uh, Dhruv Jurel or maybe uh, Shibran Hatmaya, these guys are aggressive players. So, you need those extra yeah. over Ashwin. Suddenly, if you keep Ashwin for the later stages, he might not execute those big shots, right? What we expect mm -hmm. from a Hetmeyer or a Dhruv Jurel and the, the talent that they are. While for Ashwin, I mean, this was a smart strategic move, I thought. And suddenly, Ashwin surprised with those big hits, which might have, uh, mm -hmm. you know, helped uh, these guys right now. But in future, I don't know how it's going to help them. Hmm. No, uh, that's uh, absolutely right what uh, Shrini highlighted because in the first match, Sanju Samson saved it for them. This match, Rian Parag has saved it for them. But for how long? They really need to look, uh, you know, how the whole team can perform as a unit and how their batting order can be, uh, you know, more uh, proactive in terms of making more runs and going after balls and, you know, smashing those big hits and everything. Well, uh, that's that. At the end of the day, we're just talking about, you know, who won the match. It's Rajasthan Royals. And as I started this live, I mentioned that the trend of home teams winning the matches in this IPL continues. Well, we'll uh, wait and watch uh, for the coming match that's going to be RCB versus KKR. Will RCB win once again in this IPL and this time around over KKR? We'll have to wait and watch. But uh, for that, you stay tuned to Cricket Next. Thank you so much, Taos and Shini, for joining with me. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow before the match. Bye. Fastest cricket score updates Yeah, sabse detailed stats. Cricket ke andar bahar ki khabre Yeah, healthy debates. सबसे एक्यूरेट एनालिसिस या फैंस का क्रेज सबके लिए एक ही प्लेटफॉर्म क्योंकि क्रिकेट मतलब क्रिकेट नेक्स्ट